All right, hello, and welcome to another five minute presentation of ZBrush. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to look at material baking within ZBrush. Uh, this first method was introduced by Sebacore of the Pixelogic Forum. Way to go, Sebacore. This rocks. I've been using it forever. Uh, I'm no way stealing this. I, that is credit goes to Sebacore on this, and I hope the video helps out people. He's also got this in a more um, uh, laid out in text on his site, and you can find Sebacore at the Pixelogic Forums. Okay, now. That was my disclaimer. Now we got to go on with the video. Okay, so load tool. Let's load something that would take five minutes to do. Uh, let's load the demo head. Okay, click and drag it out. Hit edit. Uh, let's add one more level of geometry to it. Okay, just like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is take the layer brush. Just go in here. And add the atypical superhero mask okay or kickbox or whatever okay we'll put some little bolts on here and there we go maybe two more bolts okay now the key to this is we want to be able to make a material and texture built into one that represents all these little details Okay, so what you do is back it all the way down. You then go into texture and enable UVs. You have to give it UVs, so we'll give it AUV tiles. Okay, we'll go down to displacement, go to adaptive, turn this to 2048, go to mode and create a displacement. It's only got four levels, so it should go pretty fast. Now, let's grab that alpha that came. See, now it doesn't make too much uh, resemblance to whatever the, the guy is uh, based off the human eye. That's for sure because it's AUV tiles. Another thing that I found that some of the matte cap materials, you know, you might think that it's going to be as shiny as that. No, no, matte cap materials do kind of look a little bit awful with it sometimes. But we're going to use a matte cap material. Uh, let's say this pewter for once okay uh, what I'm going to do now is take the pewter go in here and say crop and fill with that alpha lit up it'll go in and make this texture okay and based on let's say down here the depth factor is set to 2.2 okay this is the perfect depth factor but if I want a little bit more vivid like 3.3 I can then go crop and fill and you'll see the bolts stick out farther and more shadows start appearing. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, let's document, save as, well, let's document, export, and we'll export it to the desktop. You brush document and hit save. Okay, good. Let's go back, document, new document, no, and let's grab kickboxer guy click and drag him out and hit edit let's turn it to a fast shader 5 turn on mrgb color fill object okay so that filled the white and the fast shader 5 to it okay now turn this off texture import zbrush document open there we go uh, now let's rank it up to like four and you can see sure enough all the bolts are now highlighted okay let's also burn that into the object make sure mrgb is on or rgb color from texture okay now it is burned within the object for all and uh, it's not being represented by a texture anymore so that's a quick way to shadow your objects and if you go into render and turn it to flat you'll find that that texture is already self-shaded okay that's one method and in the next movie i'm going to cover another